So here we go, folks. Life of a trucker. <laughs> so I'm back in Fort Worth, uh, waiting to get a door to back into. Seems as though they got things a little bit more organized over here from the last time when everybody was trying to crash into each other in the parking spot. But I've been sitting here for about 40 minutes. And it's a lot, like, it's a lot more trucks behind me. And on the other side. Well, it's kind of dark. Sorry about the image quality. I don't have my Canon with me. I'm using my phone. That camera was too nice to bring out here in this trucking world. I wanted to get messed up. Yep. So yeah, man. This is what I do. I'm a trucker. If you want to be a trucker, this is what you'll be doing. Pay is decent. Pay is pretty good. Um, yeah. So, if you want to be a truck driver, there's a few things that you should know. One thing. First thing that you should know, number one, that when you get into this trucking industry, don't think that uh, it'll be like a regular nine to five job because uh, that is fictional. That is not truth. There is no truth in that. Trucking is nothing like a nine to five job. You work anywhere. Well, since I've been in trucking, you know. You work anywhere from like 10 to 14 hours a day. And it's like no exaggeration. Second thing. When you first get into trucking, do your research. Do your research on your companies. Um, all the companies out here, there's a lot of companies out here. Do your research on them. Look up the reviews. Read the blogs. See what people are saying about the truck company. Um, because, uh, it, once you, once you sign on with the trunk company, you know, and start working for them, you know, they'll tell you one thing up front, but once you start working for them, you know, about like a week, two weeks later, things are going to change. Uh, what they originally hired you on saying that they, you know, to the things that they said that they were going to keep, keep keep and up and hold um, for their part of the bargain to hire you, um, they're going to change, you know. So just be aware of that. Um, so, yeah, do your research. Um, do your research on your companies. Also, third thing, um, if, you, if you don't already have your trucking license already, um, I advise you to go to a trucking school and not a trucking company that will school you because uh, if you go to a truck trucking company who will school you, um, they're going to put you under a contract and uh, you're going to have to work for them for a certain amount of time in order to fulfill that contract and if you don't fulfill the contract. Um, and they fire, they may fire you or, uh, if you leave before the contract is fulfilled, then you'll end up owing them, um, a lot more money than what, what they said you will initially owe them because, you know, they always have that fine print in there. Um, so yeah, that's why I don't advise you to go to a, a trucking company who, that does training 
to help you get your CDL. Um, I mean, if you do go, have, if you do go to one of those trucking companies, you know, have your CDL already from a trucking school that you went to and you found on your own. Uh, yeah. So, fourth thing I recommend uh, is that you don't go over the road. Uh, I mean, if you want to go over the road, you feel like it's it's in you. you you love, you know that. Do you want to do that? Then, you know, by all means, go and do it. But uh, for most people, um, you know, being away from home for so long, you know, it, a lot of people can't handle it. Me myself personally, I can't handle it. I did it for a while, um, and I, I I love you know the scenery, you know, seeing the the, the entire country or whatnot. But um, the, the the isolation and being uh, not having anyone to socialize with, you know, was was a big strain. It was a huge strain. Um, so that's that's just my personal experience. You know, if that's what you want to do, then you know that's why you want to get into trucking. And by all means, have at it. But um, you can make uh, just about just about as much, if not more, driving a day cab. You know. Me, I make more than what I was making over the road, you know, driving a day cab. So, um, actually, I, yeah, I make about the same. Sometimes I make a little bit more about what I was than what I was making when I was driving over the road, just driving a day cab, and I get to get home every day. I mean, I don't be home for many hours, but you know, I get to see my wife every day. Uh, I get to socialize with people on a daily basis um, versus like when you driving over the road sometimes you'll have to you know park at park at the uh the dispatcher or wherever you know um to take your 10 hour break and um man sometimes you know they kind of rude they don't want you to use their bathroom and they don't be having showers so kind of rough being over the road man <laughs> but waking up um waking up in the morning from your truck uh having to brush your teeth with just toothpaste and a bottle of water it gets like that it gets real you know um so yeah yeah those are those are the, those are some of the things that i advise well those, those are some of some of the things i advise you to look out for or think about before you come out here and uh, just jump into being a truck driver. Uh, also, also another thing, another thing, if you decide to be a truck driver. Uh, you go to get your CDL license. Make sure you get, make sure you get as many endorsements as you possibly can get. Make sure you get as many endorsements as you possibly can get because they give you um, much, much more greater opportunities to. Uh, Obtain much better paying jobs, you know, the more endorsements you have, the more opportunities you have. So, yeah. So um, for all of you out there who want to become a truck driver and you're following my channel, um, I wish you the best of luck. Uh, you can leave me comments at the leave me comments at the bottom and uh, just tell me uh, if you have any questions, you know, you can ask me whatever questions you have about uh, the trucking industry or if you um, want to tell me your experiences at whatever companies you've been at, you know, just leave me leave me comments down at the bottom. And, um, you know, I reply. I reply to everybody. You know, I reply to everybody. If you subscribe to my channel, you have a channel of your own, um, I'll subscribe to your channel, you know. So, um, yeah, so that's all I got. <laughs> my slogan is be legendary, you know, so. You know, if trucking is what you want to do, be legendary at it. Give your all, do your all, give your all, be the best you can be, just be legendary.